Hi, you're listening to Get Site Control Insider. And in this episode, we're talking about ways to optimize conversion rates on your website. You probably already know about how important it is to have great copy, a clear call to action, and high quality images. So we're not going to cover the commonly suggested tactics here. Instead, we'll talk about the tactics you may have overlooked. Stay tuned. What's your website conversion rate? No matter how good or bad your current numbers are, there is nothing wrong with wanting to improve them. To help you with that, let's take a look at the tactics that can help you get a bigger bang for your buck. Tactic number one, implement exit intent pop-ups. Why do visitors leave your site? You'll never know if you don't ask. Exit intent pop-ups can be used as a last ditch effort to collect an email address but they are rarely used to ask visitors how their experience can be improved. Meanwhile, it could be a great opportunity to get the information that will help you increase conversion rates. When you ask visitors why they're leaving, you can present them with a personalized solution. For example, giving them a discount won't help if they're leaving because they're confused about how your website works. Bottom line? Use exit intent pop-ups to find out the reason people abandon your website and come up with a way to eliminate it. Tactic number two, create a lead generation quiz and follow up with email. Quizzes are not just for BuzzFeed or course creators anymore. You can create a quiz and embed it on your website to provide a more personalized buyer's journey for your customers, all while collecting detailed data about them and their preferences. Depending on what type of business you run, your quiz can separate visitors using different strategies. By common pain point, by desired outcome or benefit, by taste preferences, by particular attributes that determine what they need. Here is an example. When you visit the website of a hair care company named Function of Beauty, the first thing you see is an invitation to take a quiz. That's right. They're not asking their visitors to shop they're asking them to take the quiz. That's because the whole point of Function of Beauty is to provide a personalized experience. Plus, they know they'll be able to follow up with amazing emails if visitors don't purchase right away. If you make the very first interaction your visitors have with you a fun one, you've got an amazing head start to get them to trust your brand. Tactic number three, convert visitors into email subscribers first. I get it. It's all about the money, and converting visitors into paying customers is the most important factor that will keep your business afloat. But if you try to convert cold visitors into paying customers above all else, you'll have a lower conversion rate than if you aimed for a conversion that offers less friction. This is why email marketing is so powerful. Aim to convert cold visitors into warm email subscribers. From there, you can warm people up via email. 59% of marketers claim email is their biggest source of ROI, so this advice isn't a shot in the dark. Giving up an email address provides much less friction than handing over credit card digits. Still, if you want to get more subscribers, make sure to offer something in exchange for visitors' emails. Create a lead magnet or provide a discount. Remember, people don't subscribe to receive your company news and updates. They want concrete value and they want to save money, give it to them. Tactic number four, optimize your website and entire funnel for mobile. Still think optimizing your e-commerce website for mobile is optional? I mean, everything is optional, but you're throwing away so many conversions by failing to adapt to the mobile market. Four out of five Americans now shop online, which is great news for you, but half of them are making purchases on their mobile phone. You can use responsive website tools, but the best solution is to create an entirely separate version of your site for mobile users. By doing this, you'll be able to create shorter headlines, stuff in less text, and place buttons where they should be for the best usability. And no, your website isn't the only element you might need to fix. If you want to improve conversion rates, anything customers come in contact with throughout your sales funnel needs to be optimized. What do your emails look like on a smartphone, for instance? If they look clunky, well, you got the idea. Tactic number five, nip your customer's objections in the bud. 
Before your visitors have a chance to object to the sale, it's your job to figure out what these objections could be and nip them in the bud. How do you do that? Remember those website exit survey pop-ups we mentioned earlier? The data you collect should come in handy right about now. If you've implemented the simple one-question survey, you'll start getting a picture of what's going on in your customers' minds. Then, approach those objections with the right copywriting techniques. Take FAQs as an example. No, FAQs aren't just for questions. Their main purpose should be to counter objections. For instance, here is one common objection many people might have. What if I don't like what I bought? If you have a return policy, include it in the FAQs, but do your best to use language that your customers would use to argue against the sale. Tactic number six, experiment with scarcity. Scarcity marketing isn't new, so why is it overlooked so often? And I'm not talking about lying about what's available and what's not. Unless you have a magical infinity factory, you're bound to have a limited number of products available. All you need to do is let your visitors know when that number is low. We've covered a handful of other useful scarcity tactics before, so make sure to check the link in the episode description. The best practice? Don't implement them all at once, but start experimenting and track what improves your conversions and what doesn't. Tactic number seven, add a live chat to your website. Did you know that 63% of customers are more likely to return to your website if you add a live chat feature? Moreover, 77% of customers won't make a purchase until there is a live chat support available. Take a second to absorb those numbers. Live chat is easy to overlook, especially if you're just starting out. But the truth is that the majority of people, 77%, need a human touch to their online shopping. Sure, not everyone has a ton of questions. Maybe your shoppers need to know about a certain use case for your product or aren't sure about sizing info and need to talk it through instead of looking at a size chart. Live chat will help solve these questions more efficiently than if you only provide an option to contact you via email. Tactic number eight, survey your customers on usability. Your existing customers, those who already purchased your product or service are a priceless source of information. So why not put it to use to make sure your website is as user-friendly as possible? Although your customers have purchased from you already, they probably have an opinion on how the user experience on your site can be improved. Because if there are elements of the user experience that they had to fight through to complete their purchase, chances are there are plenty of visitors who gave up that same fight. Stop bleeding customers and patch the hole right now. Create a survey form pop-up and either display it on the website or send it over a direct link to a full-screen version of that survey to your email list. Just make sure to send it only to people who have already converted into paying customers. For the other people on your email list, create a separate survey asking them if there is anything preventing them from completing a purchase with you. You might discover that there are too many steps involved in your checkout process or that the mobile experience is frustrating. Whatever the case may be, make it a priority to fix whatever issues arise. Sometimes you'll assume something is easy to understand when it was designed internally, but you can't know that it's true until you see how other people react. So, are you ready to take action? Just implementing one of these tactics can help you improve conversion rates, let alone all of them at once. To make sure you don't get overwhelmed and that you understand where your results are coming from, Test these tricks one at a time and note how your conversion rate changes. For instance, start with placing an exit intent survey on your website and ask visitors directly why they are leaving. To do that, go to GetSiteControl.com, create an account, and add a survey form within a few minutes. Give this tool a free try and see what you can find out within. And this is it for the episode. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter to get more tips for your marketing strategy from our blog. Until next time.